Welcome to the Big Easy Bookkeeping online tutorial. I will show you how you can use Big Easy Books to keep the records of a small business. I'm on the settings tab of period one and this is where you would set up your company name. You can change the month to follow a fiscal year. You can access our website and our frequently asked questions by clicking on these links. And you can click on these links to go between the months or to go to the summary. I will click on deposits and I'll set up categories, sales, sales tax, these categories will then be shown on all months and on your income and expenses and your summary. After you've read this comment, you can right click and hide the comment. You can click on the show help button and these little boxes will pop up to help you. You can click on hide help and they will go away. You can use these first 10 rows for repeating transactions or you can just start entering data on the next available row. I'll record here an entry. We received $450 from XYZ Company and they paid $25 tax. Now I will click on checks and put in a beginning bank balance here as you can see, our deposit amount of 475 has been transferred to here. These are the categories you can change to suit your needs. They're pre-titled with the most widely used categories for small business. If we scroll right, you'll be able to see also there are some blanks that you can set up your own category. And to the far right, if we keep scrolling, you'll see there's a miscellaneous column and a transfers out if you were to transfer money to a savings account or an investment, something on that order. There is also a withdrawals, loans, charge card payments. This is where you can record payments to credit card companies if you took a loan out of the business. As you can see, there are 10 rows for repeating transactions here. This could be handy for if you have a bank debit that comes out every month. You can record the description or the name here. And each month you just need to put the amount under the correct category. I'm going to record a check to the phone company. Check number and the amount under utilities and telephone. You'll see the bank balance has been adjusted. Now let's head over to the cash and charges. This is where you can record any items that did not go through the checking account, such as office supplies you paid for out of cash. So let's record that here. I'm going to scroll over to office supplies and put the amount there. Now I'm going to click over to income and expenses and you can see that our sales and sales tax is recorded. This is where you can set up budget amounts. You put in one month here and it will copy into all the other months and you do have the option to change those amounts on the different monthly files. As you can see our expenses are listed the office supplies, the telephone, and it's showing a $345 like remainder of income or profit. Now let's go over to the bank reconciliation and I'm going to record the balance at the end of the month from our bank statement. Okay, I'm going to go over to the bank reconciliation. I'm going to put in the ending bank balance from the check from the bank statement. 
you'll see that there's a difference of 400 here. I will check off the deposit that cleared the bank by putting an X here. I will go over to the checks and put an X where that check cleared. I will go back to the bank reconciliation and you'll notice the outstanding checks, there are none, and the difference is zero or blank, which means we've reconciled with the bank statement. Now I'll show you the account balance tracker. This is where you can keep track of balances such as a savings account. You could type that in here, your balance. It'll track any type of income. We will soon have what we call trackers available to help you keep track of these type of extra accounts. Now I'm going to scroll back to the settings tab and I'm going to click on the summary and now you can see in the summary that our deposits are here for January. I'll click over to check, see that our expenses are listed here. Now I'll click on the income and expenses summary. This list has the summary for the year of 2010 and that is it. Thank you for watching.